Former state rep, who's also a former FBI agent and police chief, says New Mexico isn't sending nearly enough of its violent criminals to prison. And he says he has the numbers to back it up. News 13's Tina Jensen is live in the Newsplex with the story. Jessica, New Mexico has more murders and violent crimes per capita than any other state in the Southwest, but we also send fewer of those violent criminals to prison than any other state in the Southwest. The author of the study says that's a failure of the justice system. If you look at how many people we have in prison versus how much crime we have, we are way below the national standard nationwide and all of our neighbors. The numbers from retired FBI agent and former state representative Dennis Kintai don't make New Mexico look good. Murders per capita far exceed our neighboring states. And New Mexico has a higher rate of violent crime per capita compared to all of our neighbors, more than doubling the rate in Colorado. But we also have fewer people behind bars compared to all those other states, far fewer. Other states in the Southwest have more than twice as many inmates as New Mexico per capita. Colorado, 50% more. Kintai says that comes down to prosecutors cutting plea deals and judges going easy on criminals, giving them probation or suspending their sentences. I think they just fail to understand that people who are violent and harmful need to be incarcerated. They have forfeited the right to be out among the public. He also says overcrowded jails shouldn't be an excuse for light sentences, saying costs should not be a concern when it comes to keeping streets safe and getting justice for victims. What New Mexico fails to do is treat the victims of crime with respect. We, we fail to show them the dignity they deserve because they've been hurt by predators who have caused them harm. If New Mexico put people away at the same rate as, say, Arizona, Texas, or Oklahoma, we'd have another 7,000 inmates. And, of course, that would cost the state millions and millions. Back to you. Okay, Tina, we've reached out to judges, defense attorneys, DAs, and the Association of District Attorneys for comment. No one wanted to give their take on why New Mexico doesn't send as many of its violent criminals to prisons as other states. Protest.